Now that the milling machine is back in service again and I'm really happy with the results so now I can attack whatever project I want. But there's one little upgrade I would like to do before I do that. Right here on the side of the machine is a coolant fountain. It's always very nice to have a coolant system building in your machine. But here is a very small problem. If I install my pipe right on the cutter and I change the Y axis, of course the position changes but the pipe stays in place because it is mounted on the column. It's not a big problem, all I have to do is move it a bit. But I think it's stupid and we can do better. On the side of the machine here there is this beautiful little clamp. Now I don't know what it's made for but it can hold 10 mm round. Clamp it like this and then I can turn it in whatever angle I want. So I think that's really handy. If I manage to install my flexible snake thing here on this pipe, drill it out of course, I can install it right here and it will follow the movement of the y-axis. Of course I don't have this connection that fits in here to be able to mount my plastic pipe thing here. This could work. So the plan is to cut this thing in two, to open it up and put this little piece of pipe on one of these bowls just like I did on this side. I think I found a little bit of a solution. This part with the valve fits in here. No problem. This little pipe, heat up a bit, fit over the bowl. No problem. This flexible, that will work. I found this bended piece of uh, scrap thing here. It's a bit over 12 mm, which means I can turn it down to 10. One side make a ball like this one, so this can fit up here. And the other side make a fitting thing where my pipe, pipe can go. And this 10 mm will go in here. There. That could work. Over to the lathe. Yeah, well, I think this is really bent. I think I'm gonna hammer it a bit and cut a piece off and that will work better. Okay, attempt the uh, next one. Oops, that looks way better. Let's run the thing much faster. Yes. 
I think it's the insert that uh, gave up on me. Go down to 10 and this part about 10 millimeters will be diameter 6 and a little bit. I think that could work after a little bit heating the pipe it will fit right let's cut it off and make the ball on the other side After just a small dose of violence, I managed to put my beautiful little piece in here. Let's see if it works, so let's do a little bit of assembly. I think it will be better upside down. That could work. Right. Heat. Not too much heat because if you see the energy prices now. Let's use a trick. I know I still have to make this uh, wire tension thing, but in the meanwhile, this will have to do. Everything assembled and ready for the first test. I think we can call this success.
I admit that it's just a short little video because it's a small and easy project that of course also looks a bit stupid but I'm sure it's not the first time I make something that looks stupid. This week this was all I had time for. So next time better.